So it's Sunday and Mel and I, we are just out driving around everywhere, bouncing around, bouncing around. We went to Breakthrough, which is a seafood place, uh, getting up in Iloilo there, and we enjoyed uh, a little food right there. And I thought I would show you all Wilcon. Wilcon's another big box home improvement and building store here. And this has got two levels inside. Imagine like a, a Home Depot or a Lowe's with an upstairs and downstairs. So let's go inside and check that out. Now some of these places, they don't like you to record inside, so I might have to be covert, stealthy about it. This is Wilcon inside right here. Upper level, lower level. The bottom level is mostly uh, floor tiles, wall dressings, and stuff for restrooms. They have huge displays of toilets. Look at this, going down through there, probably 80 feet on each row. Oh, those are pretty cool. Yeah, it's for real. Yeah, that's pretty nice, 20% off. Man, that's nice and thick and heavy too. That's a nice grill set. Didn't I put uh, that extra set we had in a ballot buying box though? I think so. What the? Two person jacuzzi tub. Basically 70,000 pesos. A little small one here, 53,000. It's just a tub, not a kind of style like an old bear claw in a way. Nice jacuzzi tub. This is a two person side by side. That's a two person uh, opposite direction of each other. Boy, <laughs> if I tried to get in this one, uh, they're probably going to have to get some oil and a winch and pull me out of there. I'll probably form a suction. <laughs> this one too this one's pretty cool you got a clear view window on the side perverts 73,288 and 45,526 on this one single person straight Lots of choices, choices, choices. So when you go second floor, that's where you're gonna find everything like your uh, plumbing, your hardware, your tools, your outdoor stuff. There's some home furnishing like, not home furnishing like uh, couches or nothing like that. We'll show you when we go up there. More like decoration and closet gear and kitchen gear for your cabinets and all. This stuff, I don't know how wear resistance this is gonna be. All this is just shot on like ink jets, what most of it says. And I just don't know what the long-term wear is on tiles like this. Massive amount, once you look at this. This is like, shoot, might be two acres, not hectares, acres of floorings in here they have so many varieties of stuff in here not all this is just for floor in here for tiling they have a lot of uh, wall tiles as well all in here and some unique wall tiles not just this they have some highly unique stuff Now this right here has become very popular here. And that's that James Hardy board. It has become very popular. And this is just a little thin. I only think it's a quarter inch thick. Uh, that's probably not even, maybe less than a quarter. 
Well, let's see what it says there. Uh, what does it say? 3.5 millimeters, 4.5 millimeters. But they're actually using this in a lot of the houses, even on suspended ceilings. Uh, instead of using, yeah, see right here for residential ceilings and walls, instead of gypsum board, using that Hardy Flex right there. And that, it, it's pretty good. I mean, of course, it can crack pretty easy, but I support using this way more than I do using gypsum board. They have all this here. Like I say, these these are tiles, but you, you can put them up and look like you got a brick wall. It's kind of cool. Stone wall. All kinds of styles here. Lots of styles. Hey, what do you think this is, Burger King? You think you're gonna order it your way? Huh, huh, huh? <laughs> uh. Yeah, they have a massive, this whole thing you're looking at in here is tiles. And they're starting to bring some of that cheap stuff like they have in the US here that I don't like. But let's look down this aisle here first. Yeah, that's great in a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. I love the glass blocks. Yeah, they're bringing this old cheap vinyl floors and snap together wood like we have in the U.S. Ugh. More, more product to just easily fail and get damaged and waste the money. Just my opinion, waste the money. <laughs> That furniture reminds me of 50s and 60s stuff right there. I think all that's back in style again right now. Check out even the old iron banister style beds and stuff. Yeah, man, I see 60s and 50s all over again. She's going wild for that, and I'm looking back here at a barbecue grill going wild. <laughs> wild barbecue grill. You got another little grill right here. About $400 for it. Sun crust. I just, I can't have nothing like this there by the beach. This is just ordinary steel right here, and that's ordinary steel. We've already tried to have it. It'll rust right away in no time. We've already tried. So it's the upper floor here in Wilcon. They have a lot 
and stuff. Yeah, I have a lot of decor. Man, that's a cool mirror. That's some cool mirrors there. I like that. Those are nice. And that one's like about $140. Shoot. Not bad really at all. Not bad. This big one here is only about a hundred dollars. Nice. Lots of home decor. Lots and lots of home decor. I love all of these slot outs they have for cabinetry. Very common to find that stuff here. You don't find it too much in some of the big box stores in the US. Pressure cookers. She found her a frame. She's got a, a drawing she's wanting to put in. That one's nice there, that's nice. You like this? 
You like this? Mel? Talking to you. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow. That's nice. Why don't they have an oven that matches that? They must have, because just don't have a display right now. They sold the display? But you could order one though? How long does it take to come in? Like a month or something? Yeah, I think a month and a half. About a month and a half? I really like the looks of this style right here. That vinyl hood we have is already pretty nice. You know, I just stuck it up temporary so it wouldn't get broke there in the garage, but I didn't hook it, hook it up because it's just temporary there. But this is a pretty cool vinyl hood right here. It's a really modern style here. So you can just close this one up when you're not. Oh, it's got automatic power. Don't so don't touch. <laughs> oh. Well, that's pretty cool. More electricity. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I just wonder about how you know cooking and stuff, oils and grease and all always getting on it. It's probably cleaning a lot. The, the, the grease is mostly stuck in here, and there's some residue will be left. Some, some over here, but it's okay to clean it with the, the cloth work. And the oil and the grease. Because you separate the motor, you separate the separator, and the grease will be in here. Oh, it's got a grease pan there. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Let me look that up and I'll read about it a little bit. What about this one? How does it work? It's just the same, sir. But uh, it's only standard. So is there a filter or something behind there? It looks like that's hinged. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's a filter. Oh. This is kind of like that similar style to like that Frankie over there. And this is Ham Hamden. Yes, sir, it's Hamden. Now ours is double that size. So look, I'm gonna say something, and I'm not uh, America bashing for my fellow Americans and Texans, but these stores here in the Philippines, they're getting on top of their game, man. I'm telling you, this country, if COVID-19 hadn't happened, no telling where this country would be at right now. It was an emerging economy like crazy. 
and the growth and the improvement and the infrastructure and I know you can get into politics about it and I don't even want to go there because I say oh China money but everybody's got China money and China owes everybody it's all mixed up mashed up but let's stick with the facts it was growing here and it was improving here and these stores are nice and I found that all the displays and everything and the organization is beating out us big time you go in lowe's and home depot man i have way more choices here super more choices here way more styles the prices are pretty good these days and uh i'm just telling you guys right now if you think you need to bring everything from america and i'm guilty of it too just look at that welding hood i just brought and now they're selling them right there stored local near me because it's changing here fast and everything's becoming available in fact more options of course you could get on amazon or ebay or any of those and order all kinds of stuff in the u.s but i'm talking about being able to drive right to your local stores this store is about 45 minutes from my house and uh you, you have a plethora of choices right here. I have one of these big, actually I have a 100 watt, super bright uh, lights there now. And I think I'm gonna buy two of these 30s because we're gonna do some, what the guys call overtime work. When we pour that second floor, or getting that poured and getting it finished out and all. And so I wanna put up a couple of these good bright LEDs. I'm telling you that 100 I have now will blow you away. You'll get a suntan at night. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, right? I complain about not being able to find some of those parts out in some areas. And it's true. But let me tell you, five years ago, five years ago, especially ten years ago, it would have been hard-pressed to even find any of this stuff anywhere. It was pretty much just mom-and-pop stores and a few uh, city hardwares. So city hardware has been around for a while. I remember coming in Bacallit and... Uh, maybe 05 or 06 or something like that, 06 maybe or something, and they had a city hardware all the way back then, but I think it was brand new then. But um, a lot of these other stores, they're all new, and they're impressive. We'll go over and see what they have for plumbing here.
So this is what I'll be painting the uh, fence with right here. See, this is uh, epoxy primer and it has a hardener goes in it. Man, it is super good. And then come back and put an epoxy paint over the top of that as well. Check it out, they got automotive lacquers here. Look at that. Like a sanding sealer. Automotive lacquer right here. A lot of colors here. And yellow international red. Epoxy paint right there. Black enamel. Look here, here's the things right here that I could not find at the other store. And look at that, here they are. And these aren't locked all up behind the cabinet. These are all out where you can just pick it up yourself. But that's pretty cool because there's some of the nipples and parts that I needed right there. Very nice stuff here. They got really great selections at Wide Sink. Now, people that hand wash, they like that, where they can set stuff up and let it dry to the sides, especially like this right here. Now, this this is where I'm eating crow, because see, things keep improving here. And look, down a whole nother aisle, fittings galore. Fittings galore. It is just always an improvement. Always an improvement. I mean, more of the size that I needed there. more of it yeah simple little things that uh, I'm, I'm proud to see this I, I like I like eating my words I'm happy to eat my words this store here has picked up their inventory and it looks great I'm here now he's gonna go up and get rubber boots we told the guys that they're gonna have to wear rubber boots, not slippers, mixing and dealing with uh, concrete and uh, gloves as well. So I don't know how stubborn they're gonna be, but we're gonna try. They had a pretty good selection right here. All of these boxes up here are all full of rubber boots. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool and the price wasn't too bad.